like ghouls howling in the night. Scratch. Kind of creepy out here at night. It kind of sound like someone crying. I can hear voices. Am I coming? Something? What was that? <gasps> Are you in pain? Are you being serious? Why do you think yeah. so? I heard him like walking towards Stop. us. You can hear them. I heard that. I think they're coming. Let's go. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are investigating a remote ghost town in South Australia. I've actually brought along some of my friends to help with the investigation. So I have Sian. Hey guys. Wei. And Sinead. Hey Amy Cryptus. Good one, Sinead. <laughs> <laughs> They're called Crypt Keepers, Sinead. Get it right. <laughs> but stick around because it's going to be a really interesting episode. Along a remote part of South Australia's coastline exists the remnants of a small ghost town. The settlement was known as Stenhouse Bay and peaked at around 200 people in the early 1900s. The area thrived as a gypsum mining community from 1913 to 1930. It even became self-sufficient with its own school, post office, bakery and general store. With so much history contained here, as well as many people having lived their lives in the now ruined town, we decided to visit and investigate if any paranormal energy had become trapped in this historic ghost town. So we've just been in and explored our first building and they're pretty beat up this place doesn't even have a roof or anything and exciting as always on Amy's Crips adventures we just found a big bone I don't know what this is from but it's always kind of creepy to find bones when you're out and about guys we're just inside the old bakery and it doesn't even seem like an old bakery because it has a whole setup, which seems like you could just legit use it still. Look, this big pattern. And there's all dust and stuff in there, like it has been used. And we have a shell. And I guess this would be where you put fire, right? I don't know, that's really cool. We should have a, should have a pizza night or something here. All right guys, so you just know how I hate I don't hate birds, I'm just scared of them. One of the birds that are really, really scary here in Australia is the emu. And there's one right here. All right guys, I want to introduce you to my crew. So we have Sian. Hi guys. What are you overseeing today, Sian? I do all the sound and logistics. Yep. <laughs> and we got Wei here. So I'm her personal stylist. I keep her looking stylish. Very good look, right? <laughs> and we've got Shanae. Hi, I'm here for first aid. <laughs> <laughs> we need first aid. <laughs> we never have safety when we go out on adventures, so we thought we would upgrade and <laughs> have someone look after us. Oh, and then there's one more, well, Jared. Hi. What do you do, Jared? Cameraman. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's about time for our nighttime investigation. All right, night time, let's go guys. Guys, we're just walking back to the ghost town here. <laughs> this freaking gate, listen. It's like ghouls howling in the night and we have a full moon that's just peering out through the storm clouds. So cool. Who's ready? Me, I'm ready. So again, we yes. have Sian, Shanae and Wei joining us for this Hi. investigation. Hey guys. <laughs> now let's walk down the creepy trail. So we're still just making our way over to the ghost town and we're kind of just following this old historic track and we've just made it to the lake and it just looks eerie at night and then behind me, like this was quite a large town, it had about 200 people here. They even had their own cricket ground which 
I love it's like a staple in a little Aussie town really 200 people and it kind of ran from 1913 to 1930 so a lot of history contained here it was a gypsum uh, mining town so a lot of people lived here a lot of people passed through here and I really do wonder if there's any paranormal energy contained in any of these old ruined buildings like so of course we're gonna go investigate that Something? What was that? It sounded like a duck. Like a bird. Oh, Ains, what do you think of that? Uh, how many rocks are there? I want to go because I feel like this bird's getting closer. Move. Move. Move <laughs> down my way. started reaching the first parts of the ruins of the ghost town and it's kind of it's kind of creepy out here at night what do you think way mm, much creepier at night time than the day yeah are you yeah. excited to go in the building so <laughs> oh, no not really but, but are we good <laughs> you good yeah. will you help me investigate yes i will all right cool we got <laughs> this we got this i i can hear some voices out there though that kind of freaks me out I think that they're living people, which is even worse. <laughs> Can you hear them? Yeah, there's like some dudes hanging out in there. Some of these cabins though, like you can actually rent and stay in. So I think that they might be doing that. Like some of them are ruined and some of them are kind of done up. But all right guys, so we're actually at the old post office just here. And this one is cool because it's been restored and you can actually rent this place out to sleep in. And it looks quite cute. It does have this trippy door though. I have no idea if you're gonna pick that up on camera, but it's like an optical illusion. Nah, it doesn't look like that on camera. <laughs> it's like a, whoa, did you hear that? Bug. Yeah, that was creepy. It looks like an optical illusion where it's like fog, like meters away from the door. I don't know, it was really weird. But there's a ruin just behind this place. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm I think they're coming, those guys. What? What are you doing? Those guys were coming. Those guys that are staying over there. Are you being serious? Why do you think yeah. so? Yeah. I heard them like walking towards Stop. us. You can hear them? Stop. You can hear them? Well, yeah. Well, maybe they're just staying here. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, this is a hiking trail. Not at night time. And who the out here on this hiking trail at night? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, besides us, right? It might have just started to rain a little bit, so we're just gonna try and do our first investigation segment. I've got all these guys just set up with a motion sensor ball in front of them. Basically, they look like this. Yeah. And if there's any type of movement, the ball... Oh, oh now it's not gonna stop rolling. <laughs> <laughs> if anything moves that, the ball will light up. So it's kind of like a motion sensor. So we've got Wei, Shanae, Sian, all my friends here and they've all got a ball in front of them. Where's your ball, Shana? <laughs> 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 I lost it. <laughs> so I thought maybe it's cool to reach out to the spirits and see if they can go to one of my friends. If anyone is near me, touch my ball. Maybe you guys can say no, touch my ball. <laughs> no, touch my ball. It's mine's smooth and hairless. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Is your, why is your ball going off? If there's anyone in this room with us and you want to communicate, can you come close to one of my friends? They're all standing in front of a bull. If you touch them or try to move them or do anything to the bull, it will light up and we'll know if you're here. If there's someone here that you want to talk to, can you go near them? Can you make this ball move? If someone is here, can you make a tapping noise even? If you'd rather not touch a ball. Can you give us some signal? I can hear voices, but there are some dudes hanging around somewhere in here. And I can hear male voice, like deep. Was that you, Sian? Yeah. Oh. Quite on set. 
<laughs> yeah, I can just hear deep male voices every now and then and they're kind of like in the distance, which is weird because it's just, people are staying here, I believe, but we're in such a remote place in the middle of nowhere. I heard that. It's happening out here. Mm, I heard that too. If you are here, can you do that again? Sinead, what did you hear? <laughs> I heard a... <laughs> I heard a noise outside and then I sort of felt like the wind blow a little bit. Pick, it's picked up. This place doesn't have a roof, so I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> 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 All windows are the there is wind coming through. I'm just going to poke my head out. I did hear something though. Yeah, like I definitely tapping. heard something. Too late, I need to touch my own balls. <laughs> Alright, touch your own ball. Make sure they're still working. <laughs> they're still working, yeah. If you just move this ball, can you come close to it and move it again for us? It definitely Do moved. Do what you did again last time. Why does Do it, it like again? this? But that didn't, that doesn't move the you ground. You touch it and it just moved. Mm, it just went off by itself. Was that's anyone cool. moving or walking? I wish you were filming, I don't know. <laughs> And if we stomped, does it go off him? No, that's what. Uh, oh, that was a oh, pretty big stomp. That was a big stomp. That was a big stomp. Okay, though. okay. No, right, no, no one, one did that. No one moved. Then let's try it again. If so anyone's here, I'll touch Amy's ball. Oh my god, they sound really close now. Do your possessed movement again, Chanel. Rocking backwards and forwards, praying to the spirits. <laughs> this will make for good footage. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. You weren't really moving. Alright, so we did have a cat ball go yeah, off. Yeah, one did go off. <gasps> oh. See? Oh my god, that's creepy. Shane, you've got to talk to it now. Is someone here? Hi. Oh, no, oh. It stopped and started again. Who's here? Well, I can't communicate in <laughs> black and white. <laughs> um, it's going on. Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Yes, no. Okay, light the ball up if you're a female. Or a male. What is your social security number? <laughs> Light the ball up if you're here. Did you make the ball light up? Can you make the ball light up just so that we know that you are here? Are you in pain? <gasps> it is in pain. Is there another way you can let us know you are here? Can you come close to that green light or touch the ball or both? Come sit down with me. Do you think we can help you? Come and join our circle. It would be interesting if the ball goes off at the same time the K2 goes off, mm -hmm. I think. Do you want to speak to Wei? Yeah. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, Wei wants to speak to you! <laughs> Why don't you put your ball out? But my ball doesn't work, it's always out. Not if you're not, if put it's it still though, it will stop. Wei, someone wants to speak with you. If there is someone here, can you go towards Wei? I'm scared. Do you know Wei? Have you met her before? Are you still here and do you still want to talk to Wei? You gotta make one of the balls light up. Do you still want to communicate with Wei or do you wanna do you want us to go away? Are you still <gasps> You wanna stay with Shanae? Why do all our names rhyme? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> We're confusing <gasps> Okay, it wants to go uh, with Shanae now. Alright. Maybe it thinks that's funny, like Are you still in pain? <gasps> yes, yeah, every time you say pain, Sian, yeah, it yeah, goes off. Really sad, actually. Mm. What Should do you think of this, Amy? <coughs> this is the first time we've used these devices. Yeah, it is. I do feel like maybe they're super sensitive and touchy, though. And because the K2, if the K2 was going off at the same time, I'd be like, wow, that's really amazing and compelling. But I don't know. Maybe we should try a spirit box. Yeah. <gasps> yes, it wants to talk to us. All right. <laughs> Wade doesn't look like she's keen. <laughs> we have had some activity in this room with these motion sensor things lighting up on their own. For it to go up. 
Nothing on the K2 yet. Just because that's lit up so many times on its own, we're going to try Spirit Box and actually see if maybe someone's around that can talk to us. Hi, if there's anybody here with us, can you please come close and use the device in front of us to say hello or tell us your name? I'm Amy. We've got Shanae, Wei, Sian, and Jared here. There's a lot of people who want to talk to you, who come to visit you. Can you come and join our circle? Is there a lady here? Was there somebody here earlier who was making that ball light up and flash? with all the different colours. Are you in pain? Did you work in the mines here? I thought you said yes. 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 What was it like working in the mines? Did you get hurt in the mine? There's something wrong. Yes. What year was it when you were here in town? We don't want to hurt you, we're looking for a new friend. Is this where your family lived? Yeah. It sounded creepy. Yeah. Can you tell us about your family? Is there a connection between the family, your family and the mine? What about that cricket ground? Did you play cricket? Maybe you play tennis. There's a tennis court here as well. Right, Shane? Yeah. I thought I felt the ground up. Like what? In moving? Oh, yeah, like something, like someone walking. The concrete on this ground is mm. kind of like, it feels hollow, so if mm. you hit it, kind of like vibrates and moves a bit. <coughs> so that's kind of interesting. Can you light up the balls again? How old are you? Like that, making sure they're still working. Can you do that same thing for us? Do you see a three? I thought I heard freedom. Oh, oh there's three balls. Well, maybe it's a three. Yeah, I don't know. Three, yeah, I heard three. Three? Same. Yeah. All right, uh, we might have to leave now. Can Last you? Chance. <laughs> Fine. Can you hear? Fine. 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 Oh. Fine. You want us to leave? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that kind of was pretty interesting with the ball lighting up and it lit up so many times. I don't feel like we got heaps through on the spirit box. Maybe it said fine when we we're saying we were going to leave. Did you guys? think that it said the same thing yeah, or yeah, did you hear fine. any other words?
Mm, I couldn't distinguish any words, but there were definitely mm. things being said. Um, oh, there was definitely more female voices than male voices. Yeah, I thought so. Box. I thought so too. Yeah. yeah. What about the cat balls? Do you it think it was creepy them? when Sian goes, "Are you in pain?" and it light up twice. Twice. Yeah. 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 Seemed to react to that. But when we asked mm. the, through the spirit box, we didn't really get much. So. Yeah. And it's the mind. I feel like we heard yes yeah. when he said, "Did yeah, you work in the yeah. mind?" And this was like an old mining town, so kind of interesting if we were speaking to some miner. Wait, what did you think about the ball experiment? Bit creepy when Sian was like, "Oh, do you want to talk to Wayne?" and it light up, and that really, that freaked me. Yeah. Freaked you out a bit. Yeah. That did. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, you guys. So just like being out here in this ghost town in the middle of nowhere in the dark and I can just hear dudes yelling and stuff in the guys I just hit record on a ghost tube session and before I hit record it literally just said scratch I don't think that there's really any like substantial ghost stories or violent spirits here so I'm not too concerned and you know what I'm like I would love to be scratched I've never been scratched hammer oh. shout hammer shout I'm so skeptical of these people who seem to get scratched all the time so interesting we're just walking into an old building. It's actually an old bakery, but it's like right next to the old school here as well in town. And I'm just running the ghost tube to see if we get any magnetic fluctuations or words such as that through. Is there someone in this building that wants to scratch me? You also said shout, if that's the case. Lewis. Is this your name? Is part of the building super ruined? We're also in complete darkness, guys, so we can't really see much. And Jared's just kind of stumbling through looking at the camera. interested to know like this might be the old school just back here because we're kind of outside of the building but there's more foundations like more ruins here too god god oh my god it's so creepy when that goes on were you religious going off more than usual. It is, it's so odd. It never goes off this much. I feel like last time it went off that much was when we were in the old Geelong jail. It's just supposed to be a super haunted place. The words paired together don't have a lot of meaning to me. Can you make a sound if, if you're in this, this building? Shopkeeper. That's interesting because this was a shop, right? This was a bakery. Peter. Peter. I'm going to close this down because this is spitting out a lot of words. It never does that. Yeah, I know. All right, so I've just stopped the ghost tube session. And there's so much. I actually don't know if my speaker's going to pick this up, but there's quite a bit of background noise from a group of living people here, which, you know, I always tell you guys that scares me. But I feel like because they're here, it kind of pollutes any evidence that I can try to collect. It's not our friends, right? We told them to keep quiet. <laughs> I hope not, probably though. 
One did kind of sound like someone crying. Yeah, let's go check on them. They probably got attacked by an emu or something. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do any more reading on this place or any other haunted places that I visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.